Good afternoon, year one. The first thing we need to do is look at our vocabulary. Now, I have circled some of the words. I'll show you an example. OK, I have circled some of the words in red. OK, because those are the words that we're going to be looking at today and talking about today. And if you're not sure what they are, obviously you can look at the picture, but I want you to maybe do some research, OK? and see where they are in the world, or um, do you have any near you, or anything like that. Okay, some of the words you'll already know, so you won't need to, but some you might not. So let's go through these words. We'll do my turn, your turn, like we normally do for our geography vocabulary. So England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, directions, oceans, beach, forest, hill, mountain, sea, river, weather, city, town, Village, factory, house, office, shop. OK, so with those words that are um, circled, it might be an idea to see if you can see them on a map or you can think of an example. So you can see for town here, I used a picture of Aylesbury. OK, so that is a town that you all live in. And for city, I see if you can know what a city is and where there is a city in England. You might know of one beginning with L. OK, so today we are going to be using our observation skills um, of geography, our, our observation skills of things around us and how that relates to different types of geography. So our LI, so our learning intention today, is to identify physical and human geographical features. So could you say physical and human? OK, that's right, human, we're humans. So let's find out about that key terminology. OK, and you're going to be doing some simple field work hopefully, in your local area. So first things first, we're going to start with what physical geography is. OK, so a physical feature of a geographical location is something that has been formed by nature. So the world has made it. OK, so we might have some cliffs or there might be a forest. You could argue that humans plant, plant trees, but it's formed by nature. It grows by nature. OK, then I've got some mountains. I might make this. So I've got a cliff. There. OK, I'll put that there. I'm just going to put that at the bottom. I'll put it there to start with. I've got forests. OK, mountains, they're physical features. Uh, yeah, they're physical features. And I've got the oceans, all the different oceans. They're all physical features, aren't they? OK, so could you say a physical feature is formed by nature? Can you say that? A physical feature is formed by nature. OK. Right, let's have a look at what a human. Oh, no, let's not. Let's look at physical geography. So a beach is an area of sand or pebbles that reaches the sea or a lake. OK, have you been on a beach before? OK, the coastline is where the land meets the sea. So on your maps, you might see all the edges of other land and that's a coastline. OK, the sea or ocean is um, basically a large area of salt water that covers most of the surface of the world. OK, so how much, how big a percentage 
of the world is ocean. I wonder if you can remember that fact from last week. I'm not going to tell you. You might want to go back and watch those videos. Okay, now we can look at what a human feature is. Okay, so basically a human feature is anything that has been made by humans. So it might be um, some, another way of saying that is it's called, it's man-made. So someone has built it. So towns, people put towns together. They have built towns. People have built towns, okay? We've got villages. Do you know, know any villages? You might want to write a name of a village down, okay? That has been made by people. They didn't just grow themselves. Same with houses, okay? They're made by people. They are man-made. And farms, okay? Yes, there might be some natural things that were farmed originally, but now farms are created and made by humans and looked after by humans. So they are hu that is a human feature, okay? A farm, okay? So today you're going to go for a walk with your member of your family okay and they're going to look after you and you're going to see if you can spot any physical or human geography features now if we were in school we'd be going round a walk through berry fields and trying to spot and going to an open field to see if any of it is man-made or um physical okay so it's a physical um feature so what you're going to do is you're going to use your observation skills and you're going to try and find different things and discover whether they're human or physical features of geography okay so human is man-made and physical is made by nature okay and i want you to create a tally of how much or how many you see so Houses, you're probably going to see a lot. So remember, we're going to do those tallies. I think we did them in science with Mr. K. So I've got one, two, three, four. And then my fifth one is a diagonal through. Five. OK, I thought it might be an idea. You can, of course, draw the pictures of what you see. But it also might be an idea. You could take a photo whilst you're out and about and create a document a bit similar to mine, okay? Obviously, you can't tally all the pieces of mud that you see, okay? But you might want to tally how many, um, how, how do you see the mud in the land or do you see the mud um, in plant pots and soil in plant pots? Because obviously that's man-made if it's been put into a plant pot. But if it was there naturally, OK, that is a physical feature. So I want you to you might have to subtitle this one and you might have to have your human features. On one side and then underneath the line, physical features of how many times you see them. And you might just want to do a rough number because you're going to see a lot of soil on your walk, hopefully. OK. So don't forget you're using your observation skills. So you're not touching everything. You're just using your eyes to look and see. OK, so here you might want to take a print screen of this little clip because these are things that are human geography. And I want you to look out for and see if you see any. I don't think you're going to see any harbours or ports, but you never know. OK, and then your physical features are here see if you can spot some don't forget that weather and seasons are all natural occurrences so they are physical geography features okay so you are going to go on a walk with a member of your family see if your brothers and sisters or whoever's at home wants to join in and you're going to see if you can spot human man-made features and physical features that are made from nature so enjoy your walk um, I really want to encourage you to keep active at home um, so I'm hoping this is a really good opportunity for you and I hope you enjoy your walk and you can take lots of pictures and we would love to see the pictures 
and your tally chart and things. So have a good time.